thanks to Pilot Quarters. More on that later. Night flying. Something no one particularly enjoys, but I kinda do. The differences of flying at night, the dark scenery, the nice sunsets, they're excellent. On this flight, I'll be flying back at night from Arizona back home to Detroit to find out how bad our red eye flies. Let's go enjoy the video. What's up? Welcome back. I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation. Tonight, I've arrived back in Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport to fly back home tonight with Delta Airlines on the 757. Come with me. It promises to be super fun. It's a red-eye night flight. My first one of those on the channel. It's not entirely true, but we'll get to that later. Enjoy the video. All right, through security and all that, pretty quick and easy. Luckily, I always arrive early, so that was not a problem. Now, to head to my gate, I believe it's Foxtrot 9, and we'll see you there. Let's check it out. Once I got through security, I saw a Hawaiian Airlines A330 and an Alaska Airlines 737-900 in from Seattle. I then headed through to see my gate, and on the way I went through this really cool tunnel. This was interesting, and Phoenix Airport is huge, by the way. All right. So I've arrived here at gate F9, and there's the 757 that will be taking us back to Detroit on the flying pencil. So excited, can't wait to fly on it. Come with me, and let's go back to Detroit. Our 757 this evening was November 679er Delta Alpha. She was a 30-year-old 757-200 and looked good for tonight's ride. I also saw this jet blue A321 with a really great name, and this Frontier A320 Neo, Tex the Armadillo. Seeing this Delta 737 makes me think, doesn't Delta have orders for the Max 10 coming soon? I wonder how that's going to work out for them. Anyway, I can't wait to try it on its inaugural flight if commercially possible. What do you think? Would you try the Max on Delta? Let me know. In regards to night flights, I've taken a few. I took a Cessna 172 with my friend Simeon on Night Flight Storm, check that out by the way, and I flew on American Airlines from Orlando up to DCA and on to Chicago on both their 737 MAX 8 and Classic 737-800. Those flights were really good as well, although due to delays, they were at night. I've also been up to the tower at Jackson Airport at night, and that was cool too. But pretty soon it was time to board our 757-200 to head back to Detroit this evening. There's something really cool about boarding a 757, knowing you get to turn left. And I was headed up to the Comfort Plus cabin. By the way, the first class seats were only run row in front of me, so I got a great view of them. They look huge and very comfortable as well, but I was perfectly happy in my Comfort Plus seat. It had adjustable headrests, plenty of leg room, a big, large window, although no larger than any other window, and it was very comfortable. There was plenty of space for all my junk down below in the seat back pocket, leg room for days, air vents, which are critical for any flight, and lights. So the safety card was unusual in that I had two. Other than that, this seat looked perfect, and soon we were pushing back. As we push back from the gate, this is a reminder to please like the video, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for any future videos. But soon, we headed out to the active runway. Airports look so cool at night with all the signs and their different meanings. They're critical for safety, and they just look awesome. I also realized both the words Sky Harbor and Airport mean the same thing. Isn't that funny? But pretty soon we reached the front of this conga line of aircraft waiting to take off, and because of my seat, I could see the engine. I'd never been able to see the engine before, so I took full advantage.
Phoenix Airport looks beautiful all lit up at night, and these pictures simply do not do it justice. But I tried. <laughs> As we climb out of Arizona, let's take a look at tonight's route. Tonight we will take off from Phoenix, head up, out over Nevada, out over Albuquerque, New Mexico, northern Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois State eventually, Indiana, and all the way up to Detroit this evening, taking us 3 hours 10 minutes to cover 1,967 miles. Once in the air I checked out Delta's in-flight entertainment system. It was pretty good, however, the moving map is slow and really aging. I really wish they'd give it an update, especially compared to much of the competition. But there were plenty of movies and TV shows, along with live Spotify playlists, which suited my purpose. Pretty soon my snack came around. The tray table was perfectly adequate and not too shaky as on some aircraft, and my apple juice was perfectly fine, but that was the only service on this night flight as we descended over Chicago and began our approach into Detroit. As we come into land, if you'd like to view the full edit-free takeoff and landing, simply click on the link in the upper right for those of you who have interest. on the ground in Detroit, let's do some summary. So, how was the flight? Well, overall, I found it pretty good. The seat was huge and very comfortable, I really enjoyed my Comfort Plus seat, and yeah, it was overall a pretty good experience. However, I wish Delta would do something about that horrible in-flight moving map, and the service on this flight was simply a beverage service, which for me was fine because I was tired. This trip cost me 15,000 sky miles one way, or about 30,000 round trip. If you're interested in seeing the other part of this trip, simply click on the video in the upper right. So much fun over the past few days exploring Arizona, seeing all the mountains and the canyons and all that, and it's just been really, really fun, and I only wish I had an aviation themed shirt to kind of go along with like the mountains in the desert. Oh wait! I do! Thanks to PilotQuarters.com, I'm able to have a shirt for almost any need or occasion. This shirt I'm wearing specifically is called Reno and High Desert Shirt, but they make lots of other shirts for any occasion or need. If you go to PilotQuarters.com and use discount code CALEB15, all one word, C is in CALEB15, you're able to get 15% off this already great deal. Thanks guys. But pretty soon I headed up the jet bridge looking at the terrible dumb Detroit dots on my plane, and then headed to go get my bags. Well, that was a great flight as always. Love flying on the 757. This flight was on the 757-200, the original variant, not the lengthened version. And yeah, it was really nice getting to Comfort Plus and checking that out. 
the cabin was definitely a bit bigger and spacier and it was just a really really good flight especially for a night flight the extra space was very good I can't wait to get back in the sky on the next trip as always unfortunately right now I'm going home but until next time as always I'm wishing you blue skies and tailwinds